Hello everyone, my name is Danielle and I'm the resident witch here at Jacobs Trading. If you're not familiar with Jacobs Trading, I strongly suggest you check our description below to find more information to lead you to our website and online store. If you're interested in crystals, metaphysical supplies, jewelry making supplies, and so much more. But today I'm going to be pulling three cards from my oracle deck that you can pick one of to kind of gain some insight into the energies that you will personally be facing this week. If you're not familiar with oracle cards, oracle cards are a kind of introspective tool that can be used for divination to connect to our intuition to gain some advice. So today I'm going to be using the Goddesses and Sirens deck. We've used this deck before on our channel, but let's get started. All right, so as you can see, I've pulled three cards. We have card number one, card number two, and card number three. So I'm going to give you guys a moment to pick one card. It can be the first one that caught your eye, um, maybe one that is catching light in a weird way, uh, whichever one really speaks to you. Got your card? All right, let's get started. So starting with our card number one, we have Rhiannon, self-trust. So Rhiannon teaches us about trust. To develop self-trust is a necessary part of positive growth and development helps us build confidence and make decisions easier when we trust our inner voice. This isn't to say everything will come into place effortlessly, but we must trust that we are capable to complete the task at hand with hard work and determination. You will be able to succeed in your goal if you set your mind to it, but don't let others' insecurities make you stray from your path. Feel free to say no to those who ask too much of you. So moving on to card number two. Artemis individualization. So Artemis in my mind is known as Miss Independent. She reminds us of the importance of being alone with our thoughts and to appreciate the silence it brings. In this time we get to know ourselves better, we ask hard questions of ourselves, and it allows us to recenter ourselves to focus on what really matters. This is your life. Independence is a gift. The time has come for focus. So moving on to our third and final card. Khan Yin, Compassion. So Khan Yin is the goddess of mercy and compassion. She tells us to forgive ourselves and to forgive others. For us to move on and find true peace, we must start by having compassion for ourselves and for those who we meet along the way. Try considering other points of views and tricky situations. Be kinder to yourself and stop judging yourself too harshly. To error is human, and we are all just learning as we go. All right, everyone, so that's it for me this week. I hope you enjoyed these messages from Oracle. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. If you haven't already, make sure to hit subscribe. We're going to be coming out with new videos every week. If you are in the Winnipeg, Manitoba region, you want to check out our storefront, you can at 1600 Regent Avenue. If not, have no fear. Like I said before, we have a wonderful online store for you. Also in the description down below, you'll find information on how to book a reading by me for you. So have a great week, guys, and stay magical.